my normal mode is this is it's set up for stereo at the moment so this there's, there's different workflows here this one says SSL because what this is is the audio is coming back from the SSL it's actually coming through another uh, Symphony Mark II in the control room via AES and uh, so that's that's coming from the console back in here and then you have uh, three different sets of speakers as you can see the green puts them on so that's the that's the first set of speakers Th those are the main speakers the main Dyn audios you click there and then this is the Yamaha speakers and then this is the actually t they're, they're going to a TV set and um, then it's just a separate reference and so then if you hit this one this is the uh, Atmos and so you can see the first 12 outputs the, each each one of these is connected to a different speaker specifically and so you got the, the 12 Atmos speakers the uh, left right front center LFE left side right side left rear right rear and then the four these are actually four objects normally which are the the overhead speakers and that's the way I have it set up I have four permanent objects as that this one is basically the same as stereo you, you know, it doesn't look any different, but, it, but it's just coming from, this is coming, coming directly from out of Pro Tools instead of coming from AES from the console. Um, and then there's a fourth, there's actually a fourth one, which there's only three buttons here, but you can go into, oh here, this button, and you can select four. And now, it's not labeled at the moment, but so now this is five one, you can see one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, which is basically five, one. There's a left, right, center, sub, I think, and then the rears. And um, so you could just easily switch between them. And then it's just a matter of setting up Pro Tools so that the right buses are coming to the right, the right inputs of, on this. And, uh, and that's it. I mean, it's so simple. You can trim, you can trim your speaker outputs. You can see these trims are because the Atmos standard is, uh, the spec is minus 18. You can't, you, they don't want it to get anything over minus 18. And I usually mix stereo at minus 12. And so these are compensating for, for that difference. You know, these little level controls here. There. And, um, and then these are really, really fine controls, 10th of a dB. Coming, uh, coming back from out of Pro Tools. So that's all there's to it. It's, it's really simple. You can have up to 16 different workflows. And then you can also have, uh, if you have another, a second card, um, you can have up to 32 output channels. So if you have 32 speakers, you can do that too. I mean, I just have 12 speakers. 12 is plenty for me. I don't think I could fit any more in this little room.